Where did Jesus go when he died? There's an old line from the Apostles' Creed, probably dates back to the 5th century, that says that Jesus, when he died, descended into hell. And that has caused a lot of people to think about where did Jesus go? Did he go suffering in hell after he died on the cross? Well, we need to be very careful when we think about Jesus suffering in hell and Satan, you know, torturing him. That is not what took place. As a matter of fact, when Jesus died, he said, it is finished. He had paid the penalty for our sin. The concept of him descending into hell comes from 1 Peter chapter 3, where it speaks about Jesus making a proclamation of his victory, basically, over sin and death by talking to these spirits that were imprisoned. They had been judged, and he was basically, as it says in Colossians, he was declaring victory that he had actually won, that he had redeemed us from sin. When Jesus died on the cross, as he was dying, he says he was commending his spirit into the hands of his father. He had said to the man on the cross that was dying next to him, today you'll be with me in paradise. Jesus was going back to the Father. That's what he prayed in John 17. So he went to heaven. He made, in that period of time between Friday and Sunday morning, some kind of appearance or some kind of proclamation to the spirits that were condemned in hell. There's nothing wrong with that concept, but don't think about Jesus descending into hell to be punished for our sins. He was punished for our sins on the cross. So when Jesus died, he went to the right hand of the Father.